Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now, if you want to recover data on a micro SD card or an SD card, uh, then this video is for you. Now, you can use this method uh, for recovering data on hard drives, USB flash drives as well. But this one, we're talking about micro SD cards and SD cards and uh, stuff like that. So uh, this one was requested by quite a few people that were saying, how do you recover data from uh, micro SD cards? So I thought I'd make this video for you. We're going to be using uh, the iMyPhone uh, recovery software. And uh, I've got a license key here to activate this and give it a test to see whether it can recover data from this micro SD card. Anyway, let's get started. So I've already downloaded this and as you can see here, basically what this is going to do is restore deleted format or lost or corrupt files from any storage device. This can re uh, recover thousands uh, plus file types, photos, videos, office documents, emails, uh, audios, etc. Okay, so that's what this can do. There's a lot more information here. We're not going to cover too much on here. We're just going to go into installing the software. Now I've got it here on my desktop here. So let me go ahead and install this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this. Now you can see here there's a note that says, please do not install the program on the partition you want to recover. So if this was obviously on your C drive, there's no point installing this onto your C drive because it won't work, okay? So you've also got uh, data here, which I'm going to show you here. I've got a drive plugged in, which is a micro SD card slot on a, a little adapter here. I'll put a link up on the screen so you can see what I'm using to try to recover data from that, okay? You can see it's only 29.8 gigabytes in size, and that's what I'm uh, trying to recover data on. There's nothing on here at all and uh, I'm going to try and recover some uh, video footage. So what I want to do here is you can customize the installation if you want to, uh, but I'm just going to say I've read the uh, terms and conditions here and click on install. So once we've got this uh, box open, you can see here it gives you a really uh, easy user interface to work with. You've got delete file recovery, and this is deleted files by accident, deleted files by shift plus delete, and also power failures. And also we've got recycle bin uh, recovery, uh, recovery where you've emptied your recycle bin, and also a formatted hard disk. So if you formatted your hard disk, you can use this version here. Uh, an all round uh, recovery, all uh, data loss scenarios. And we've also got a USB flash drives, memory card, external hard drive and more external devices is on this one here and also we have uh, lost partition recovery which is deleted partitions hidden partitions lost partitions and resized partitions so we're going to go for this one here and uh, what i'm going to do is go next and it can see the drive automatically right here so what we want to do is go next Okay, so now we can choose what type of files that we want to try to recover. Now you can either leave it all uh, file types, which will then uh, recover fo uh, photos, audio, video, documents, archive, and other files. You can see the file types that it's going to search for. Uh, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, documents because I don't want to recover those, but you can leave them all ticked if you wish. I'll leave other data uh, running there as well and I'll just leave this here so I don't need any photos here uh, but I'll leave it ticked anyway so what I'm going to do here is go scan and this will then start a scan it's done a quick scan as you can see and uh, basically it's uh, scan complete click OK so as you can see here uh, we have file view and, f and tree view which you can take a look at here and this will just give you the view of what it's found and it has found some stuff on here where you can click on these icons up the top here and it will give you a much more in-depth look of what it's actually found here as you can see and you've got your preview uh, window here as well you can also do file modified date here all date today seven days custom and so on so what you can do is put the ticks into here 
and uh, I'm just going to put something on my desktop here just to recover call this recover and uh, we'll recover the data to this location so I'm going to do recover and you can see here uh, your copy of software is not registered uh, buy a license to enjoy all the benefits of registered version. So the trial version will allow you to do data scan. It'll also let you do a data preview, uh, but data recovery it won't let you do. So it just shows you whether you can uh, recover the data. Now, if it's been successful, you can then go ahead and purchase uh, the software. And that's always a good choice because obviously if you can't find it with this software, you can just uninstall it and try something else. So what I'm going to do here is register my uh, product and then we'll, we'll cover the data. So let's go ahead and click on the recover here and we can now cho choose a location where we want to recover. I'm going to choose me recover folder, which I've just um, created. And I'm going to now recover this documents to that folder like so. Now granted, this is just a quick scan and a quick data recovery, which it's done. It's not done any sort of uh, deep uh, sector by sector scan. It's done a, just a very quick scan and recovered data. Uh, so sometimes these methods don't work and you will need to do uh, deep scans and also sector by sector scans to try to recover data. But as you can see, this one has been successful on a quick uh, scan and it only took literally a couple of seconds. Now, another thing I wanted to point out here was the lack of deep scan option or sector by sector uh, deep scan option. Now, obviously uh, I've recovered a lot of data over the years and sometimes or a lot of the time you need to use that deep scanning method to try to recover data. The quick scan just doesn't all, always work and you need to go sector by sector deep scanning to recover data. And I didn't see that option on here. I did try some of the other methods on here for recovering data for different options and there was still no option for deep scanning. Maybe I missed it, I don't know. But I just wanted to point that out to you guys uh, just in case uh, you uh, installed it or purchase it yourself. So just check it out for yourself and make sure that it does have that option because it is important to have a deep scanning option on a piece of data recovery software. Maybe it's built into the back end, I don't know. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.